This is Katie Hunter from MA UK. I'm here with your winner, Kaylin Lochran. Oh my God, that was so impressive. Thank you very much. Um, stupid amount of work went in, stupid amount of specific drilling with uh, Colin Hart. Like, I mean, we had this man to a T, like we had this man to a T. I was so confident. Um, and it just, it all came out. So it's me and my team together were, were a dangerous, dangerous fucking, t a dangerous team, essentially. <laughs> Let's go from the beginning. Talk to me about the weigh-ins because they looked like there was some serious bad blood. He had like a Stop. syringe, I think he was saying, that you were juicing and then you got the teeth kicking. Graham was like framing me away. <laughs> so I couldn't get near him. So all I have was the teeth just popped it up, <laughs> snapped it into his belly. Opportunistic, I thought it was, it was good. Right in the bread basket, good shot. Does felt? it get you even more up for it when the weigh-in goes like that? And, no, I hear all my fucking way. I can't, if I'm fighting someone and I look him in the eye, I can't like hold myself back, do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> nah, it's, it is what it is. Br brought in the numbers though, brought in the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I think people were hyped for this fight anyway, but le let's talk about the fight, because a lot of it went your way, but he did have a guillotine on at one point. I've uh, cracked my neck, I don't know, I've must... So it was on? Oh fuck, it was on, it was on, like, fuck, but it, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tap, I'll go to sleep. I have a, I'm going to let my opponents in on a secret, I have a bad habit of letting that in the gym, I need to know, and I know that, Ali McLean tells me this, Colin Heron tells me this, I let people, see over Covid, I must have went to sleep fucking every fortnight and going to sleep on the match line there, boom, <laughs> Mike Grundy's dorses, boom, because I don't tap, I never, I never, unless I get an armbar, I don't tap, um, I need to stop letting people wrap my neck, I'm, I'm arguing with it, it's like a, Islam done it to uh, Nick Lance and done it to a lot of guys. He'll almost use it to pass. I do the same because I'm so strong at the weight. I'll try to almost crush your guillotine and as you, I'll just crush the hips. I need to get that in my game because so, um, a good guy's going to put me to sleep. Simple as that. So how close was it? I, I was never going to sleep with him, but he cracked my. I don't know if I didn't warm my neck up enough, but like it's cracked my neck. It's real stiff right now. Never got a top in a million years, and it, it uh, broke him because same as whenever. Uh, Dustin ripped that guillotine on Khabib that time out in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. It was on, squeezing it. And then he let him gas, and then Khabib immediately advanced, jumped on him. Yeah. He let me advance, he went to the back. I want to watch it back, but uh, as soon as he, he, he that was that was his, like, his last chance, you know what I mean? It was Hail Mary. Yeah. Didn't work, and then I took him out, didn't I? My ground pound is vicious. It is vicious. My ground pound is fucking vicious. Do you know what it comes from? A hip clamp, Colin Hearns, grappling. Do you know, like Gunny Nelson, like Lovato Jr., hips. Just so much drilling, just perfect hips, and then just you can let them go again with everything, you know what I mean? Yeah, 100%, and we saw it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the best in the world. I'm one of the best bantamies in the world. Oh, I don't think anyone will doubt it after yeah. tonight, and yeah. what a name to have on your record. Like, he's highly respected in Cage Warriors yeah. as well. Comes from a great gym, he's got some great wins. So, what is next for you after getting a, a massive finish like that? Dancing with the Italians, I think. Me and Mich <laughs> me and Michelle Martignoni, I think it has to be. I, I don't want to ask something I don't deserve, but I've had back-to-back-to-back -back -back finishes this year inside yeah. Cage Wars against top guys, so no one's done that. So let's go, wee man. Let's go, Michelle. Let's do it, lad. Let's do it. I think it'll be big. I think I'm the one that people want about the title fight, anyway, so let's do it. And where would you like that to be? I will, I, do you know what? That, it, something about going into the... And in the champion's hometown sounds cool. Like that Italian show was special. Yeah. He came out to the fucking Step Brothers song. What are you called? What? Oh, yeah, he did. Didn't he? Well, yeah. well, Furl song. Yeah. I can't mind the name of it. He came out that song. It was unbelievable. But here, if they're going to put that in fucking Dublin, fucking Topper Crew Patrick, anywhere in Ireland, I'll do that. 100. That'd be, that'd be literally a young lad's dream. Literally yeah. a young lad's dream. Well, I think we would all like to see that. I think after a performance like that and the ones you've been stringing Thank together, you. you deserve that. Congratulations on an incredible performance. Thank you very much. On the next one. On the next one. Thank you. Thank you.